Digital twins use real-world data to create a virtual replica of any space or object in the physical world. Because of their customizability and flexibility, they are being used in many different industries for a variety of purposes. For example, Microsoft created a digital twin to help facilitate the creation of their new 72-acre campus in Redmond, Washington. The digital twin modeled everything planned for the campus down to the light bulbs that would be installed. This technology enabled Microsoft to be more precise and sustainable in the planning and construction processes. Let's take a, take a walk. Yeah, as you can see within this square, you can see where you typically have your informal meetings or your lunches right here. And so you can experience that digitally before you ever would physically. So everything that we're seeing on our, uh, in our glasses right now is exactly how things will be once construction is completed. Yes, it will. And this is really what is used for planning and design, especially when it comes to the sustainability efforts here at Microsoft. And so as you can see, we've included a lot of native trees into our design, and this would be where we'd have that discussion of where we would place them and how many we would have. So when you get the, the whole group together, you'll have people who might be elsewhere in the country or maybe even around the globe, and you can all talk about what the space is going to look like when things are done. And somebody might be able to say, well, I think that this might be a great space for a green space, but one of the other engineers or project managers may say, well, that's where an HG, HVAC unit is going to go, so we can't do that, and that can all be discussed. Yeah, and that's the efficacy of a digital twin, is being able to have that conversation and make those changes digitally before they're physical. And so it's a lot cheaper and more effective to do it that way. Well, now, as I'm looking around, I'm noticing that there's not a lot of opportunity for uh, vehicular traffic. Uh, where are all the cars? Right beneath my feet is 2.8 million square feet of parking garage, as well as we've taken all the surface streets and put them underground. So whenever you get deliveries or truck traffic, that all happens beneath our feet? Yes, it does. It was really meant to make the campus a far more walkable experience. So if you're on your bike or you're just heading, heading for a walk down to the cricket pitch, no cars in the way. Exactly. For more information on the innovations that are shaping our world, head over to tomorrowsworldtoday.com.